called math pong. It's basically pong except uh, you have these blocks, and every time the ball hits them, like um, they count as points. And there's going to be some different colored blocks, and if you hit those, you'll get a math question. And if you answer that, you get double the points. Cool. Okay. So that's the first one. Uh, it, it, it'll be teaching math. It's going to be for mobile devices. And I guess different colors devices. could be one could be multiplication, one could be addition, one could be like subtraction. Well, no, it's going to be one color, and it, uh, the question can come as multiplication, division, subtraction, okay. or addition. Cool. Yeah, uh, my second design, it's called Fire Jet. So there's a story to the game. So it's the so you're in a plane in the future and it blows up. You manage to escape in a very old fighter jet and you have to defend Earth by destroying alien spaceships. And for every alien spaceship you destroy, you have to answer a question. It's a science question. So yeah. It'll be, I'll be using Flash, and the hardware platform is desktop. Okay. My third design is called Word Ring, and it's like, there'll be word bubbles that will be falling down, and if they reach a, if they reach a certain line, uh, only then you can type them, and if they reach uh, a second line below that, you won't be able to type them. And it's to see how how many points you can get. But it's typing it. It's yeah. how fast you type it. Okay. And my fourth design is uh, it's called body parts. Robin. So you have so it's going to be magic. Robin? Can you go to the nurse please? Go to the nurse, no. Just go to the nurse, it's fine. Or or go to sit outside, sit on the bench and sleep. No, it's fine, yeah. So, so then you shouldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah, so my fourth design is body parts. You're going to have to match the body parts to their correct labels. So you'll be drawing the line to match the picture. To the body part? Yeah, so there'll be labels. So stomach, can you draw a line to the stomach? Is that what you're saying? So there'll be like okay. a picture of a stomach. You're going to have to draw a line to the label that says stomach. Um, yeah, and you also get points for this. There will be um, levels as well, so it's like uh, maybe level 1 you're going to have to match, or level 2 you're going to get an actual human body and you're going to have to label it. Cool. So, yeah. What's so, your favorite? Is it, you do 4 already or is that 3? No, that's 4. That's 4. That's four. What's your favorite? Uh, yeah, I was thinking of doing the math pong. The math pong? Yeah. I thought, yeah, that was actually yeah. the storyline. The storyline. It's not interesting. You like the storyline. You like a third year old. <laughs> so good. That's good. I, I like yeah when you said broken fighter jail. I thought that was good. Yeah. I have a question about the whole question. Yeah. Lots of questions. First question is what kind of science questions would you ask them? Uh, it, it'll be something like this. Like if you heat up something, what happens to it? Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what the problem with asking questions like that is. You you gotta make sure something they have no idea about. Like you know. Like, the fighter jet one seems more like a math game to me because you can ask math problems and it's a right or wrong answer. But the problem is, unless you talk specifically to the teacher and you get exactly the right, um, you know, questions, you know exactly what they're studying, you don't want to just, like, ask them questions when it's something that's totally not part of their curriculum. Um, so I might do the fighter jet one and make it a math game. And also, they don't have science class not anything. No, they don't. But so, yeah, so the cool. science would be maybe human body. Yeah. Or like something like that. Anyway, um, personally, I like the Pong one. I think it's good. Yep. Um, what you could do is add maybe some sort of story to the Pong. I don't know. I really like that story. Um, I don't know what story I could add to it. I mean, I, but I think, and what I like about the Pong one, I think, didn't you do a Pong sort of thing for Android before? So you have some source code you can already use yeah. and stuff. It's a bit of a short, that's good. Okay, cool.